Welcome to today's show. Today we interview Dr. Erica Parker, who has a master's degree in clinical psychology. She also holds a PhD in pastoral studies. And so we're really in for a good show, a very informative show. So get ready. Welcome, Dr. Erica, and thank you so much for being part of our, our show today. And I'm very interested in the fact that somebody could study such a, um, a diverse um, a subject. And, and, you know, you started off in clinical psychology and then you went into pastoral studies. I know that you've been involved with um, the Stegfontein Mental Hospital. Uh, you've done so many things in, in your life. Um, what made you start on this journey? Well, I think it was always between politics and psychology. So I started off um, uh, going into uh, communication and then political mm. communication, <clears throat> then going to live in uh, Holland for a year, missing mm. South Africa so much, and coming back to do um, further studies in terms of mind control and programming within a military setting, yes. within the setting of political communications, yes. highly coercive strategies of communication, yes. which basically doesn't give you an opportunity to choose yes or no. You would be yes. programmed to only do what you've been set to do. exciting to have you with us today and today our program features on fathers and sons how God wants to raise up spiritual leaders to give birth to sons for the next generation and so if you're a leader today you are called as a father of the house to build to strengthen the next generation if you're a son you are called to build and to impart and to help give back to your spiritual father and so we look at both angles today as how to serve as a son in the local house and how to build for the next generation as a father May you be blessed, strengthened, and encouraged as you receive this word of the Lord today. Amen. Indeed, when you did not know God, you served those by which nature are not God's. So he says here in verse 6, Because you are sons, God has sent forth the spirit of his son. The spirit of his son. What is the spirit of his son? It's a spirit of adoption. You see, you can feel... You can be born into a family but never feel part of that family. Why? Because you've never been adopted. There's no spirit of adoption. There's no uh, release of, of father, son. There's something wrong in the relationship. And it's the same with the church. You can be part of a church but never be part of it. You can be a member but never be a son in the church. Why? Because your heart has never been adopted into that church. The Word of God says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. Yes? So doesn't that come against the Word of God? When you're triggered and you see women as bad. Why? Because you had a negative experience. You understand? But you don't realize it. Why? It's inside of you. It's motivated without you even realizing. So when you come in to, to meet a lady, what do you do? You reject her. You do all kinds of things. Why? You're proving to what's, what's inside of you is pushing them away instead of drawing them close. And what happens? You don't see the wom woman that God's bringing you through God's eyes. You see it through your per past experiences. So you no longer see women through God's eyes. You see them through your lips. Okay. So the most serious problem is our repetitive negative pattern learned from the event. So women have an experience with a man. Maybe one of the family members raped them or something like that. Now when a man comes near them, they don't want to go near them. Who knows? They reject the very thing that God has got planned for them. Okay, why? It's, you, don't do it, you don't think about it. It comes just without you realizing it. It's inside your soul. 